How's it going guys? EA40 here taking a look at the Range Rover Diesel TD6. Some of the specs on this car. I forgot that they actually sold this now in a diesel spec. Start-stop technology, many different suspension controls, and many different luxury appointments and Surprisingly though, this one only has driver seat memory and not passenger seat memory. So there's also more stuff here, of course Bluetooth, of course. Hazard lights under heavy braking, that's a unique feature. 825 watt Meridian sound system. Here's a look under the engine bay with the diesel motor. Could really make sense in a package like this. Moving along to the back. Range Rover HSE TD6. This is not the sport one, so the tail lights you can tell are different. Taking a look at the back seat here, check out the controls. Look at the screen. And the pano roof that's yeah, right now covered, and you can look at the leather here. I like the leather feel quite a bit. Lots of piano black trim, but from a quick touch around, not really feeling any hard, cheap plastics, so that's good. And then hopping into the driver's seat. A full, um, full LCD dash. Full LCD dash here, start stop button right there, rotary gear selector, no it's not a gear selector powered by a rotary engine. More of the controls here, you can also select different um, driving modes, bit of resistance with the <laughs> cup holder here. USB, multiple USB ports and aux port. Paddle shifters. And here is the infotainment unit. Steering wheel right here. High rollover risk. I did not know that Range Rovers had that. I thought the air suspension would provide a bit more control. Well, that is the Range Rover TD6. Quick look at the wheels here. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and like the video and stay tuned for more auto show stuff and I will catch you all later.